In this video, we'll create a Spring Boot native application using Graal VM and we'll create an executable for Windows application and test state. So first of all, we'll install Graal VM. I'll provide the links for each of these in the description of the video. Once the Graal VM is installed, we will install the Visual Studio build tools and Windows 10 or 11 SDK or the latest SDK which you have in your Windows operating system. And then test the native image build on a sample class. We'll create a sample hello world class and then we will create an executable for the same using native image build. And then we'll create a Spring Boot application using Graal VM. So if you have a Maven application, then we need to use this command, native compile. And if we have Gradle, then we have to use Gradle native compile. Now let's jump for the installation. In my system, the Visual Studio build tools was already installed. I'm just going to install some of the missing stuff that is required for the Graal VM native image. We'll go to the Graal VM's community edition build releases available in GitHub. Download the Windows 464 and extract this in the C drive and rename it in a local. So this way. Now let's add the path to our environment variables. Here in the environment variables, both in the path as well as Java home, we will add the path. So in the C drive, in the Graal VM, bin directory should be added to the path this way and then we will add the same in Java home without the bin directory. Let's test the version if it is reflecting. Here you see Graal VM is available now. Now we'll go to the Visual Studio build tools here installer and then since I, I have already installed it I'll modify and here we need to select the desktop development C++ and we need these tools whichever I'm highlighting over here and the others which were already available I would suggest you to include these as well in your local. The only thing which is missing here was Windows 11 SDK. I'm going to modify. And once the installation is finished, we need to restart the system. I have created a Hello World Java. Let me show you. And it is placed in the C drive itself. It just prints Hello Crawl VM native image, nothing else. So what I'm going to do is I'll open the command prompt in the administrator since it is in the C drive and let's go to the C drive. I'll compile the Java. Hello world Java and let's see if the compilation is done. So this is using Java. Now let me create a native image. So for that, we need to use native hyphen image and then hello world. We need not to give dot class or dot Java here. And this is going to take quite some time. And in the earlier versions, you had to install native image explicitly. Now it is not required. It is being shipped along with the Gradle itself. So now the build is done you can see the executable file here hello world.exe let's run this in the command prompt itself hello world so there you go if command prompt doesn't work you can use x64 native tool command and we will do the same thing as we have done on the command prompt. Let me delete these ex executable. 
So basically, if the path of your uh, Graal VM is long enough, it doesn't work on normal command prompt. And that's the reason we need to use the x64 native command prompt. So you can see here, I have already built and executable is created. Let's run and check this out. And it will give the same result as we got in the previous execution. Now that we know that the Graal VM native is available in our local, let's create the Spring Boot application. Spring Boot starter. I'm going to use Java 17 version. It's in the local. And the project name is Spring Graal VM. I'll use Gradle next and i'll use 3.2.2 we need spring web and we need graal vm native support so these two are enough for us finish let me create a controller class for this new class user controller rest controller get mapping path will be slash user slash user name hello username and let's try to run this and see if the application works and this is not the gradle native image we'll just test the application slash user slash Sam. So the application is working as expected. Let's build an executable for this. Let's go to show local terminal here. Gradle W because we have this Gradle W space native compiled. This takes quite some time and we'll get an executable file which is in binary and once you get the executable file, you can ship into any system which doesn't have Java installed in it, which means you do not need the Java installation for the executables which are created using the Graal VM. Now that the build is successful, let's open this. Show in explorer here in build you'll see something called native and native compile here you'll see the executable let me run this so allow now that the application has started let's test this Sam, hello, Bahadur. So this is how we can generate an executable for Windows using the Graal VM and Spring Boot. Using Graal VM is not as simple as it looks here. It has many limitations and some challenges. We'll see them as we go on. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.